Yes, 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 good afternoon, good morning. But whatever you're experiencing at your neck of the wood, people when I say when I ask the people. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, good afternoon, good whatever you're experiencing at your neck of the wood. Well, people, my name is St. Arbin, as you know. And this is the chat to me show with BSB and BSB. As you know, we always come here with some information to impart. Yesterday, we looked at poverty and poor. And we realized that so many of us has been contaminated by that demon yeah and it look like we are okay but when we get closer and look closer we realize that we've been possessed yeah and you know sometimes we have to as human beings just spend some time knowing ourselves mm. so good afternoon good afternoon good morning good whatever you experience that you take of the people yeah, this is set up in a zero channel on the BSB from London to the world. I see the light going up, I see the love going up, I see the people I'm showing me some love. Welcome once again. This is a chat to me show. Me not talk and run, kill me and done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big and serious. Loving people, what I say? We see how someone can allow themselves to be conquered by a demon. And that demon of poverty, that demon of poorness. And I urge you today, don't be an agent of poverty. Do all that you can do to get out of that. People, one of the easiest ways to become poor, stupid, and helpless, your independent gun. I said, one of the easiest ways to become poor, stupid, and ignorant. The easiest way to get your independent go from you is to attach to or affiliate yourself with religion. Yeah. Once you start to get connected with a religion or a religious set of people, they start to program you in a way that you cannot program, you cannot function how you meant to be function again. Because your thought process build up on what they told you. You want to do something, impulse tell you to do something, but you cannot do it. You can't do it. Because the church is not going to love it. Pastor is not going to love it. God is not going to love it. Mm. And all the people around are not going to love it. But they see him one. They see him one doing the rubbish. And it's okay with them. Or for them. But when you do it, you become a bad person. You understand me? So today, people. Today we're gonna look at why do Christians die the same rate as non-Christian? Yeah, why? That's what we're gonna look at today. Why do Christians die the same rate as, as non-Christian? Because I believe if you're a Christian and you got your life organized in God's character, truth is you should protect it by Almighty God. As the scripture said, no weapon that form against me shall prosper. I can confirm it with this one that touch not the Lord anointed. Now do his profit any harm. Right, so I mean we're talking about the omnipotent, the omnipotent, and the omnipresent. How oh, are good afternoon, brother? So we ask him, why do Christians die the same rate as non Christian? That's what we are about today. Because it is so appalling to see how you give your life to God. Because God said, knock and he shall open. Seek and he shall find. Ox and he shall give in. You knock, you seek and you ox. And now, you end up in the same situation that you were in before. And then you try to tell yourself that, oh, this must happen. 
So why did you get baptized according to the Bible? Why did you get baptized, brother? Eh? Why did you get baptized? The word said, The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Yeah. The wages of sin is death. If you don't understand, you're gonna break it down for you. If I work every day, at the end of the, the, the week or month, I got my salary. And what is my salary? Money. What is my wages? Money. So, in other words, the Bible is saying right here, if you work for sin, your reward will be death. If you work for materialistic things, your reward will be money. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay. Beautiful text. We use it every day. We reason about it every day. We use it to counteract enemies and forces outside of righteousness. How hard we go? Right. Now, my key text that I want to work with tonight, the text that I wanted to emphasize on is this one. Mark 16 verse 16. Hear me? Yes. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe it not shall be damned. You might be wondering what this word damn mean. In Christian belief, those condemned to hell are doomed to suffer eternal punishment. That's what damn mean from the dictionary. Right? So now, if Mark tell me in Mark 16 verse 16 that said, He that believe it in him God, Jesus Christ, and then you make another step further, and get baptized shall be saved so now why is it that Christian who baptize and believe because somebody will die for them beliefs why is it that people who believe in their God sincerely die equally like who don't believe wow wow I don't think nobody gonna want to listen to me today I don't think nobody wanna listen to me today. So we just have to do what we have to do still. He that believe it and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe it not mean the outsiders, the infidels. The one who don't believe the the Hades. The Hades people them. They don't believe in God. So according to this this text here, they will be doomed. Are damn. See a meaning. But he that believe it and baptize shall be saved. I don't know. I don't know yet. Let's see what's gonna happen. We just read said, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So why is it that you who have the gift of God? And promise eternal life still die. Eh? We don't know. Let's talk. We want some conversation. Yeah. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. The gift of God, according to Christianity, is the Holy Ghost. The gift of promise. Right? So once you have the Holy Ghost, according to this text here. Death can't come near you. So now, Mataika says, Why do Christians die the same rate as non Christians? Wow. Who want to take it on? 075 075 303 24. Let's talk. Let us talk. Let's have a conversation. Let us have a conversation, people. Yeah. Shanice, big up yourself. Howard, bless up, brother. Bless up. We just want to know. Because we are talking about something we're going to provoke a lot of people. But still yet, we have to say it. If you are a true defender, whether or not it's going to hurt your friends or not, you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. And I am a defender of the truth. 
I am a defender of righteousness and I'm a defender of the people. Right? Mm. Right? Wow. Loving people. We're getting some challenge now. We're pushing out some challenge out there. And we see what's going on. See the thing. Some run, some walk, some creep, and some stay one place. But none wanna come up and let's reason. None no wanna do that. Mm -mm. Because they know that what I'm saying is not rubbish. They know that it makes no sense. So all I know, you're only gonna get your reward, brother. When you go to heaven. Alright? Why is it so, brother? We don't know. Why you will get your reward when you go to heaven? When everybody else getting their reward here on earth. Mm. So, in order to escape these kind of questions, they will tell you that your reward is in heaven waiting for you. Your, etern uh, your eternal life starts at death. But you have to bear in mind, a man who don't believe in a your God, he die too. And also, his eternal life will start at death, if so be the case. You nor I can determine that. It's all in your mind and in your faith. But truth be told, we have to straight with yourself. We have to level with our own reasoning. And we have to be honest when communicating certain things. Yeah. People, good after morning. I said good after morning. When you die, you gain eternal life. According to Christian Dom. Hmm. You can't get that now. You can't get it now, Howard. Good evening, Shanice. Yes, you can't get eternal life now, Howard. You have to dead first. Right? But the preachers will get it now. Yeah, they want to control it like a poodle, my brother. Eh? Can we serve the Christian God or not? You will die. Whether you go to church or not, you will die. I see Christian people are run from Corinth and hide them face. Then I pray against going and kill them. They must cover themselves on a fire protocol. Following and do the right thing. But still, yet the Bible said you are in this world, but not a part of it. But now coronavirus is all over the place. Christian are the first one. Cover them face and them mouth and run. Muslim been doing that for years, covering them face and mouth. Can't fight them. But we are say, seriously. These are some questions I would love somebody to address and let us talk. Seriously. Loving people. Food for thought. Food for thought. And in case you don't remember, K. Hello beautiful. Good afternoon. Yes, loving people. In, in case you don't remember, we are on the WhatsApp. For who, those who are not living in England. If you are living in England, you can call us straight. Depends on which network you are on. Right. 075-075-303-24 Now, I stumble upon this. When I was putting my notes together, I stumble upon this text from the Bible said, For the Lord himself shall descend, mean come down, from heaven, with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, on the dead. The trumpet gonna roll first. Then the ones that dead in Christ, they will rise and caught up in the air to meet him. Now, if you want to reason it as a dead physical or a dead spiritual, because right here, Jesus said something right here. Jesus said something in Matthew 8. Maybe just like show up some texts out there, you know. Because these are some texts people relying on to build an argument. In Matthew 8.22, Jesus said, 
unto him. Follow me. And let the dead bury their dead. Somebody come to Jesus and say, Jesus, I want to follow you. I want to be your disciple. But unfortunately, my father died. Be, be with me so that I can bury my father. I can imagine Jesus took on him and get so angry. He said, follow me. Where you are, dearly boy? Come, follow me. Let the dead bury their dead. Just follow me. I am more important than you and your daddy. So follow me. Now, when you examine this text carefully, and I'm talking, remember we are doing for and against right here. When you examine this text carefully, he couldn't be talking about a physical dead to bury a physical dead. He have to make in reference for the one who died physically to be buried by the one who are spiritually dead. You remember we talk about spiritual yesterday. We speak about poorness. As a poorness coming two part, you can be physical poor and you can be mentally or spiritually poor. In other words, some people poor in the heart and mind and the spirit. Some people poor physically. He don't have no money, don't have nothing in him house, him physically poor. Some people have a poor mind walking around with. They make them spiritually poor. Right? And that is for many things. So, I threw out a few texts out there and anyone can come up and reason. I'm here, man. I want to talk. Get to the phone line 075 075 303 24. Yeah. Why do Christians die the same rate as non-Christians? That's my question. Wow. The preacher and the Bible student and the theologians will tell you that eternal life starts at death. You only get eternal life when you're dead. And you know we talk about oxymoronic a lot. You know we talk about that. Yeah, we speak about that a lot. So people, you got to understand. But truth be told, we have to examine these texts from the Bible. We have to. Because in Romans 6.23, I'm not going to stop saying this until somebody take it on. Romans 6.23 said, For the wages. The text starts with the word for. <clears throat> for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, their Lord. It's supposed to read our Lord. But, get this thing to start out. All right. People, you see what we are saying now? Yes. Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend. The Lord right here would imply Jesus. From heaven, with a shout. With the voice of an archangel. And with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Followed by then we which are alive shall caught up to meet him. In the air. That is when your eternal life supposedly will start. Right? TDGX don't see that way there. Joel ST now see that way there. Crawford Dollar now look at it that way there. Only you looking at it that way. Because they want you to see it that way. If you were looking at it the way how T.D. Jakes and Crawford and all these men looking at it, you would be richer than your present situation. But I'm telling you that you should malice money. You shouldn't have nothing to do with money. You should be a poor, pauperizing soul. Right. Come money, the love of money according to the scripture. The love of money is the root of all evil. And they also said you should stay away from women. Well, if you want to go with man, that's alright with them. But stay away from woman, the flesh. 
Yeah? So when, when the woman become clean and pure and ready for you to get beside her? When you get married? So what a transformation. She become clean as a married to her and she come ready to have sex with. But all this time she's filthy and dirty and nasty. And you must abstain. Stay away from her. But if we should go to your Bible and identify how the Bible dictates that you should get married. It would say something like this, For this cause a man should leave his mother and father's home, take a woman and make her his wife, and the two of them become one. Now, let's say I'm looking for a woman. I go down the road, Howard, and I see a young lady. And I say, excuse me, madam, you're so beautiful. I like the way you're looking. I would like you to be my friend. You might... If, you know, she responded and then eventually we exchanged number. We started to talk. She started to get used to me. Get, we get used to her. One day she come over. We started to touch one another. We start to do things. We, we accept one another. And we do things. That is sexual activity. Does that the way the Bible wanted to marry it or not? Then we can examine that one too. Because you have to remember before you answer. The word said, for this cause, a man should leave his mother and father home. Take a woman and make her your wife. And both of you become not three persons, but one. Right? So before you answer, make sure you focus upon the question on the text. Because you might just embarrass yourself and look like you don't understand something. Because you come with a premeditated thought. You come with a mindset because you are dealing with world tradition. How people married here and not how your Bible teach you for married. And this is one of the biggest confusion in Christendom. When Jesus married the people them at the wedding of Cana, see any. It was a normal marriage. But Christian today, if they don't have the big cow, the beef, the lamb, the goat, the whatever, and the expensive ring. And the 5,000 dirty people come and chat them and say, Oh, that girl is so ugly. And a she, that boy they married to. Oh, that boy is a female gorilla. Because that they come to watch your life and chat. And yam your food and pass. That thing what me call spiritual vampire. And say, Oh, I'm going have negativity about you. No, this is true. This is a real talk. When people go to wedding, they go to wedding to nosy and to yam. Traditional wedding we are talking about. Because in most cases, the wedding happened already between you and your partner. Yeah. So we find that sometimes people who say they are Bible believing Christian going to church every day, they are doing contrary to the very same Bible. And that is why I'm here to reason with them and find out if them really and truly. Read them Bible for themselves and they just go off a hole. Mm -hmm. Them feel because you can't change the word. Revelation 22 said, If any man take away from this. Hold on, talk about If any man take away from this, God will take away from their part. So you cannot multiply when it comes to this. If you are a true Christian. You understand me, people? So even if very way how man and woman should live, get married and so, them lost it. A Christian girl tell me that she can't get married yet because she don't save enough money yet. But her Bible tell her for this cause a man should take a woman, make her his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. It continues by saying a man will harm him flesh and a man should love him wife as much as he love himself. Talk to me, people. Speak to me. I'm here to give you what I have. Yes, son. Yet the whole Christian dumb change the whole thing. One part of the Bible says, render your heart or rent your heart. Tear your heart up, not the garment. And people change it around and say the Bible said Joel said, render your heart and not your garment. When I read these texts, I wonder if these Christians who are practicing Christianity understand what their book are telling them to do. Or they just do what they want to do and hide under the banner of Christianity and make a lot of blunder. I don't know. Because I could find so many texts from the Bible that I read every day. 
I could find millions of texts from the Bible that I read every day and show them to preach him. But how you say you're a Christian and you go against this? How you say you're a Christian and you go against that? I mean, who are no Christian understand that more than you? You understand me? The late great Miles Monroe said, him stop being a Christian long ago. He is a child of the kingdom. That's how Miles Monroe referred to himself. Him say Christian a bag a joke. Him is not a Christian. He is a child of the kingdom. Go and check his speeches. You understand? So now, we don't drift too much. We still are still with the topic. We still on our topic. Why do Christian die? The same rate as non-Christian. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't want any kind of man if you worship then. No. But still yet. BSB, bless. Yes, when you go the evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I hear you were saying now. Yeah. While you die. Yeah. And you are Christian, and they say that um, you want to feel the Holy Spirit, you have eternal life. That is what the Bible tried to say. Yeah. Yes. So um, I'm saying um, mm. everybody died. Everyone, good and bad. The, the, right, right. Right. So the church been saying that um, mm -hmm. when you you get safe and you die on the day of judgment. Yeah. Yes. You will. Um, that eternal life you won't die and who, who, when the day of judgment come and who don't save yeah. will be destroyed I think that's how they turn it no but they can't turn it away they. them said right now we read Acts we read the way text name on Mark 16 verse 16 right we say mm -hmm. he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved so yeah. if you believe in a Jesus and you're baptized you're saved that is how they teach you right Mm -hmm. But I see so many people believing that Jesus and they're not safe. They get but um, right. Mm. And I heard the, the church say when you're baptized, that don't mean that you're you're safe, safe and all of the things them, the old things them that we usually do, like mm. uh example say go to the, the party, mm. you have to drop off all those before you can be connected. With the Lord, they said the water is, is not the water just like a um, signifies say well yeah. you're, you're baptized. So they are yes, going but, well and they are going against the Bible then. They are going against the Bible. The pastor tell you that he is going against what the Bible within guideline tell them to do. Guys said he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So once you baptize account to this text. Which we can pull up some more text. You save and you baptize. I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Romans six twenty three says, "For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, which is the Holy Ghost, is yeah, eternal yeah, life yeah. through Jesus Christ our Lord." So I now, think them, you think what? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think that part they are talking when you are not saved. To me, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You are not safe at the time. Yeah, but Go ahead. You have to look for that word there, you know, the wages. The wages of sin, sin. is debt. Mm -hmm. So if you work for sin, your salary is going to be debt. Right. So Christian people, dead, yes or no? So if Christian, if Christian, if, if they say they are Christian and they, they, they continue to do the bad thing, yeah, yeah, but you have some Christian then and the bad thing. But they're still dead, they still suffer, they're still hungry, they still meet all kind of bad thing. So Paul writing here should dash one side. Father, we just sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. Right here, you have good, good Christian. We know a preacher, man, we know I call him name. Mm -hmm. no, him, no, 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 a woman again born, that a one thing. He not no peace in her life, pick me get trouble like hell, no respect, nothing. Problem behind problem, yeah, him have a good two hour reasoning. And the man can fight now me and tell me, say, boy, him don't understand this Christian thing, but he still have a preach message because at that time calling. 
The yeah. man said when he used to go to club, go drink and saw him all right, but now he's done pastor. Problem behind problem, but the text said for the wages of sin is dead. And the gift of God. So if, if a Christian dead, that means mm -hmm. him has sin. No, that is work for. They say when the Christian die, yeah, yeah. two Christian die, they they not die, they just only sleeping until the day of judgment. Hold on, hold on. So when a man who no Christian die, no where do? Hmm? When a man who is not a Christian dead, no where do? No same sleep. Until when? Day. Until when? And everybody have to say to all him all the eyes and and, and so the, 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 the Messiah when he when he arrives. Oh, that's why everybody have to Oh, but they, but they are saying in the third set, mm. the day of judgment, yeah, the righteous mm. will be going one path, and the sinners will be at one path. Mm. You see, and they and they say again, uh, when you just baptize, yeah, and and as, and as, uh, serve the, your Lord and Master, yeah, the devil will come in and. Do all kind of manner of things. Kind of that mean so you were saying, say, that mean that mean this yeah. text in Mark 16 verse 16 don't have no power then. Can you just tell me instead of the people them say when you turn a Christian they will attack in you. But Mark 16 yeah. verse 16 said, He that believe it when I dunk the dog, the cow, the goat when him believe, and he have the heart to get baptized, him save. Yes, but, but he that believe it not shall be damned. Yes, they said in the church when, when you're baptized and you're, you're going to the church now. Mm. Satan tried to come in, try to take over your children, your your wife or your husband. Hold on, hold on. Your wife be in hell. Hold on, hold on. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Where that text gone? Touch not the Lord anointed and do his prophet no harm. No weapon that form against me shall prosper. These are some comforting promise for the one who believe and baptize, but these promise never fulfill. I think the father says, uh, touch your family, your, 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 um, your prophet, and do them no harm. Huh? Yeah. I think is like. You think? The, the, like. You think? I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, to what? What I believe, I think, mm -hmm. it's like somebody directly coming to um to 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 attack you and he said, touch your family, your 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 um your prophet and do them no harm. I think that th that's what it means to me. That that's well, what I mean. Listen me now. I'm, I'm listen me now. Yeah. When people talk to me and when people give me information and when I read things here, mm -hmm. I understand it and I listen. To context here it's a touch not the lord anointed nor do his prophet no harm he that baptized right. he that believe it and baptized become the anointed one right mm -hmm. and they say no weapon form again which shall prosper, shall prosper then right? again one more text me a quote again we said i can do all things to christ who strengthened me mm -hmm. so we are this one mark 16 verse 16 say he that believe it come remember you know you have to believe first. Yes. And when you believe that Jesus is God, you baptize. And after you baptize, you save. Right. And he that believe it not. This is the, the alternative now. Who don't believe? They're going to be dumb. Mm -hmm. So what's going on right now? Because a pastor man died the other day. He was just 30 something years old. A pastor man was preaching in his church and him dead. And that man believe everything. Him and his wife. They say no one no materialist. They have a little C50 bike and ride through town. Just a little bike them and ride you. Cause the man want to be as humble as he can be. But he was one Sunday preaching the message and he just jumped and dead. Something like yeah, that. And, and yeah. They, yeah. they said the Bible again said, It's not everybody who said, Lord, 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 mean it. Well, yeah? we know that. Yeah. But what about the one who mean it? And him now get no reward different from the one who don't mean it. Yeah, well, eh? You can't tell me everybody who got church then don't mean it. They're my hypocrite. There have to be someone who mean it out there. I agree. Some mean it and mm -hmm. some don't. Then why the one who mean it get no reward and can't apart from the bungalow lie and thing like that? Eh? Well, be, because you see, some of the leaders them in a, in a church, the true prophet them out there, then don't reward them. 
the word search for me like a friend business you know that is why i give you the formation of some of the church them how them start the church the first breakaway church was a man named martin luther king martin luther from germany he formed a church called the Lutheran church mm -hmm. then you have the anglican by henry the eighth he formed the anglican church known church of england break away from the roman catholic that ellen g white come with advent seventh day advent william miller then you have john wesley with baptist with Methodist. And I just saw them start farming and everybody have their own opinion I put together. Then Joseph Marman, we here we talk about right there. Farm the Joseph Simit farm the Marman Church. Let the saints of Christ. You can have any much wife you want as long as they would can work. Me tell you, this is some of these church. Some of these church are like they like business. They're just going there. The whole of them are business. The whole of them are business. Yes, so. it's just a business. It's a business. It's a business. It's a business. I'll be reference and one it's a business if you want to make money yeah I, 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 yes you understand me a missionary and all them something there reverend yeah. madam reverend this and reverend that, that the, the church them turn into big business now it's a business of course right argument it's a business and if you want to join the business that's you can go and invest that's, that's what the bible said when the, the day of judgment they him coming to pick a church is out of a church because they might get a big business a business everything a business everything a business you know you notice on the the, the um the facebook since they have the lockdown and, and this pandemic um sickness girl the covid 19. Mm -hmm. this said i never see the amount of preachers and reverend so much in my life everybody turned bishop and, and, and this and that yes everybody a preacher and everybody have message from yeah, god yeah. now and everybody want to know what god has said and God yes, is God is. Um, remember, if you throw your offering, this is where you must go pay your file and I'm tell you where the bank account they put the money in. Yeah. But the pastor do it too. A pastor yes, friend, a friend of mine, the pastor sent a letter with the company, with the letter head from the church where she attend, with a sad code and a bank detail to go to this bank and pay money into the church. And I never know what say a them thing that go on the church. Everybody put up here now. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we are set to you right now, seriously. Mm -hmm. Say a, a whole big thing. A business are gone. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you look into the, the Bible, when Jesus come to talk to you and sup with you and have some food with you, he's not gentle, he's not a cloud. And if you don't they dare to listen when he's knocking gone. But when the they other want... one come, the enemy come. Mm -hmm. The enemy come and tear off with him and knock him, tear off with one come in and walla with you. Mm -hmm. So what you tell me say now? No, but with the with the money business now, when you are looking to, mm. all right, everybody is on the media, they're not at church. So when you give them that money now, mm -hmm. where that's go, they can't they can't say they're gonna pay a light bill or, or, or anything to because the church be blocked. Yeah, that's so that that's the thing. He got then along all when the church is open, going and then pack it. I said, I have a friend, he was a mechanic. Not the man, don't know if he fix car, but he just loves the idea, mingle with things and fit up things. Nobody now come to him, people come to him, they have problems because I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And the man spent one whole time on reading Bible while he did, and nobody now come to him. Right. And he believing he can, he ready now. What he do? He farm a church and he get a name. And he have five people there with him, his wife, his wife, sister, and a few people. Mm -hmm. The other day, I see the man and me and my reason. Because when he was at the church, he asked if he come with him. He said, No, I'm not with you because I'm foolish. He said, The pan. The other day, I see him yeah. and Brandon Rover, he said, I want 200, 300 odd people in church. And guess what happened? He came to church two times for the day morning session and evening session. So, who come in the morning have to pay tithes and offering? And who come in the, the evening have to pay tithes and offering? Greetings from Houston, mm -hmm. Texas. Don Davis, big up. You understand me? Yeah. Yes, and as long as them can read and quote the Bible, they yeah, can't tell them that them are no bishop or them are no reverend. That is what we're and talking about. Yeah, them quote the Bible and, and then some of them they don't read it, but then they know the full understanding of the meeting. That and is what. Go up there and tell them, say, oh, if you want to make money fast. David did say that everybody start jump up. Yes, Hallelujah, yeah, yeah. And then and, and the man can't tell you the meaning of the scripture. Mm. You understand me? Mm. Because them can 
them read it and them, 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 them study it like, like them handbag. Yes. Yeah. And them go in a church, so you have big reverence now and pastor. You can't preach, you know. can't preach. Mm -hmm. But then we tell us that the Holy Ghost and I, them and approve them and turn them into who them is now. And right now, them are fire up because the Holy Ghost come to them and say, Boy, you can this and that. They're lying. Some of them are lying. They're not just joke business up here, joke go on, you know what I tell you? Yes. And they're rubbing the people then. But if any truth was into this thing, they, they would have to rewrite some of them texts that we read. Now, talking about Paul, now, Paul said in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, talking about the dead, he said, for the dead, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, that meaning I come quiet, or Lord, now he's going to be there. Then the next text said, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive should cart up to meet him in the air. Right? Mm -hmm. This is what the Bible says right here. So, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Let's examine it yeah. now. No, that first of all, the dead in Christ and right first of all, right. the Lord will descend, mean come down from heaven with a loud noise to wake all who will not engrave account to this text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it followed with the, with the voice of the archangel singing whatever. Somebody call you, mm -hmm. you get to go. Right. Mm -hmm. with the yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And with the trump of God. Then it says here, the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. So yes, now, yes, yes. So now, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive, that the one who baptized and going to church and alive, when he come, they will go after. So now, we we'll find out what a problem there. Because the pastor them tell you, say, when you're dead, you go with God. When you're dead, you're gone to God in heaven. Then they come back and tell us, say, oh, there's a judgment. They're coming where God has come for you. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Because a lot of people say, then their relative is in heaven with God. No, but I know of a fact that nobody who dead, no, they know where the friend from, where the other one day. What you want to tell me, say? The wicked man, then. Yeah, but the, when them dead, the wicked man going to the corner, go hide. And the, and the good one over there, so? In that? Eh? Okay. So the point we are making right now is we have to understand, we have to know where we are sick at. I pay things before I find the Bible, but we don't want to frighten no, no Christian. We don't want no Christian to see me and feast with them, boy. It's also, you know, so I mean, I've gone on deep with them. This girl here, what's her name? Pauline, know that. Pauline, we are Pauline go through this already, right? And this very program here. And they call me and then this and then tell me, say, boy, I'm here teaching people them wrong. And I say, all right. You know what? I just want to look on the one Bible word. The one you want thing. You get one, one, get one pastor from the level and ask him the question. They are saying, but me ask, me ask them all the while. But none of them not come. And them refuse. Them not come because them know. Say, one of them say, boy, I'm not flying a God face. I say, boy, you're not God face every day I fly. I'm not God face every day I fly. No, him say, him not flying a God face because he can't answer the question. He cannot answer the question, and that is the problem with him. Because when you ask a pastor with some text like, God said, nothing that come out of my mouth cannot alter. Anything he say can't change. Yeah. Right? And in Genesis 6 verse 6, God repent, he make man. So which one of them God has said? Which one of them God, which one of them? You're sorry you make man, or you can't change your mouth. Which one? We don't know. Yeah, one. Me and them, them say, when I cut you there, me and them say in our church, when God look back and see a old man commit sin from the hurt, mm. he saying sorry, he did make man. Me don't know what that's in the Bible. You know? well, so me and them say that church. May I tell you now, Genesis 6 verse 6, go and read it in Genesis 6 verse 6. Mm -hmm. Say God repent, he make man. Now, if God is the omnipotent, omnipresent, and omnipresent, then how come man and man activities take him by surprise? Him not even know say man go become so sinful and so dangerous. You know you have a little son and you do everything for your son, turn good and your son turn bad boy yeah, by you. I say boy, I may regret some son so dirty, you know, we regret it now. Yeah, right. for a human being we can regret, but not for God, the omnipotent, the omnipresent. And the omnipresent. So something wrong with that text. 
something is wrong with that text. Oh God, for repent. In Psalm 89, 34, nothing come out of my mouth. I shall not go back on. In other words, anything him saying, I have to keep him word, I'm God and I change not. But in Genesis 6, verse 16, repent. The word repent means have a change of heart, a change of mind. Things I used to do, I don't need no more. Right. And another text in the Bible, I think, uh, Saint Matthew 20, John, you remember when I John 29? I remember when John 29. It said, um, never let the, um, never let the wicked pluck his children out of his hand. Right, right. You know that text there? Yeah. But if, if I saw be the case, then, uh, so much, too much things, you know, so much things, guys. So much things are going on. Never let the wicked pluck you out of your hand. All right. If then, you're a child of God and you're covered under God because Mark 16 verse 16 said he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved so I want to see if you see from everything this that is bad but still let the wicked have pluck you out by the minute yeah, and, and actually the text go down and said um you never met the enemy pluck him out of his hand cause what before one of his words shall pass away, even an earth pass away. Uh -uh. You understand me? Mm -hmm. That the text say. Said. That the text mm -hmm. say. And what Jesus that taught the son say, not one chita one di, one chita one dick that shall in my in no wise pass away. In other words, everything when say have to come to pass. Right, right. And then one part again him say camel. It is easier for a camel to go to the eye and needle done. A rich man and all him something but what we have, what we have focused on we are focused on how the one who baptized and safe him not safe him not safe so this attacks you all right you go to church you baptize you give your heart to god but still yet it's the same wickedness happened to the man who no go to church it happened to you poverty is a demon and the most paparizing people see people go to church you believe you are not? And, and, mm, mm, yes, I see that. And again, you know what? We got some people say they're not live good life, right? Mm. Until when they're baptized, now everything just come down, crash down, husband gone, or picnic these and things now run right them gone down too. So them I said them live a better life when they were in sin. So what about the man now who go up on the road and sell crack or, or ganja or whatever, illegal stuff here? Yeah? And he get a big house from that. In getting people go to university through that. Remember that mm -hmm. would be deemed as sin and wrong here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And a person who go to church every day sing and praising God and do all the good thing, hungry and kill them. And they should be protected because the earth is the Lord and the fullest thereof. Yeah, the church is supposed to help them. Yeah, but not even the church. God, forget about church. God is supposed to help them because they give their allegiance to God. And they know a child of God, they know walking with God. And still yet, they are suffering and they are dead. Some of them have to sell them body to survive and still God go beg God forgiveness. Yeah, and which part in the Bible did say again, say, none of his seed shall beg in bread? David said that in a Psalm 35. <coughs> Psalm, oh, sorry, David Psalm 35. Said. He said, I was young, but now I old. I never see the righteous forsaken, now I see begging bread. Okay. But the holy person so called righteous are people who deem to be righteous by society. They may beg more and bread. They may beg dumpling and rice and chicken and bread alone. They may beg. Okay. So, so why is it that? Shelter, yeah. Shelter and everything. Mr. Man in the street and at the end, and the man say, Boy, him now to pray to God and God will help him. God will help him. And the man in a mad. But him in our bad condition, meaning that in our way we live, in our clothes, in our food, it smell funny. And all when he in our condition, he said, God will help him, God will help him. But him not know what say him for help himself. Yeah, because the Bible said he helped those help themselves too. You see? So him all the time, he might have having faith in God, but him still have to help him oneself. Yes, because the Bible tells you that. But him just the same, I left everything to God and that most of the Christians do. They left everything to God. I, 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 I expect God to help them. 
I think the fellow in the text where they said, I wish one of them were um, Job. When Job, they when, when everything, they said the devil take away from Job and, he, and in a sore and, he, and the wife said, why don't you cross God and just die and yeah. say you foolish woman. And then afterward, um, God heal him and then he get more from, plenty more from when he did. All like, these. More children, more careful, everything. All these are just Bible stories. These are just some fancy stories for, for, for comfort okay. the reader. I can't tell you that. These are just fancy stories to comfort the one who's hearing it. And truth be told, right now, let's say we are going through a pandemic moment now. Mm -hmm. I have to remember one thing. These are the people them, who write the Bible and then write and sit now we are, tell you that prophecy are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And uh, when prophecy fulfilled now, we will see these things, you know. I will draw closer. Because in the Bible, it tells that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the man was right. sleeping with man and woman, right? Right, right. And now, the most homosexual about the place now, you wonder if God is asleep now. Why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah back in ancient time? And now, the same thing with one Sodom and Gomorrah is going on right now. Woman are telling us she had died straight up. Mm -hmm. People don't feel to tell what they mean, what they want, what they done. I listen to Lava the other day, and one girl come from Lava, and she says something for Jamaica, and it is graceful. So I'm telling you now, back in Jamaica, for argument's sake, people used to hide and do what they mean, don't know they don't hide anymore. Yeah, true, true. Homosexual, true, true. and then that God who discharged Sodom and Gomorrah with fire, mm -hmm. and flattened the Twin City. Him now, she said the same thing, and go on to flatten them again, no. So that means, is that... I mean, you, and the pastor them are married to them and then you know say pastor married to a boyfriend or girlfriend yes yes they are saying they know that and woman two women pastor married in America the other day right mm -hmm. so I can I so how God don't lash them down yet thank God say man who sleep with a man the man who lie with a man the same way lie with a woman the abomination and he shall be put to death right they are not follow the bible then I follow the Bible. God know who write the Bible should make them follow him like how and deal with them in Sodom and Gomorrah. But show a pretty story, not no go so. Okay. And they kind of love it now. They kind of, kind of say, show. If something goes to and God did do that for two in Sodom and Gomorrah, God would have to do it again if you want to go on right now. Yeah, yeah. So God I need, the, Bible, the God of the Bible need to go, go apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah right now. Because it's the same thing when destroy the city for a country where them history said. Mm -hmm. They might do the same thing right now. So I'm need to go down yes. and go apologize to them and say, I'm sorry if we destroy you because now a generation of people doing the same thing when we destroy Unofa. So I'm sorry. So them things we are talking about, yes, so. Yes. And if you say I serve a God, if you say I serve a God and you are deal, are deal with certain things, God should not see that and lick it on like how when you read Acts chapter 5 and lick a man by the name of Ananias and Sapphira had them one piece of land them selling land for when they want to sell it and they tell Peter lie Peter said to them say you don't lie unto man but you lie unto the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and right there them bury them for one lie yeah, they, one they, lie they one lie yeah, but when we go to Genesis we find out that Abraham tell a lie to Sarah is not his wife and Abraham never get no beaten no beaten. When the king come for Sarah and take up Sarah and want to marry to Sarah, Abraham says, not my wife, is my sister. And God, the Bible said, God tell Abraham to tell a lie and God support the lie. I shall be a lying tongue in the mouth of my prophets. People who are reading the Bible and who have check for knowledge, why God would say that I shall be a lying tongue in the mouth of my prophets? Why? And then the ten, the ten commands said, "Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not take be a false life. witness." Yeah, thou shalt not be a false witness. Be a false witness. Yes, yeah. but still yet, I shall be a lying tongue, and we can't find prostitution where God sent a woman to do prostitution in the Bible. Where is that God? We can find murder. God out of kill Uzzah in the Bible, and it go on and on and on and on. So who is right? And now where the where where we draw the line? Well, we need to know. If we are going to church, we need to know. May I tell you? Sometimes I want, when I want that, I just, them just put that in the Bible. Because God can't, 
Yeah, you know, Bisa, you know, Bisa got gathered and something. You know, you know believe. You say, a man, remember, say, a man write the Bible, not put in anything. Then, then a man you write, you tell her what they want to. Because you find, you Bible. They not put in, they, they write, they, they write things in a King James, then add on them, take out on them, put in. So, so, man, so, so, man, so, me have to really think of a really God say. What do you think? Well, me think, me tell you what I think. Man write the Bible and man tell a lie and God, as my friend say, right here. Mankind tell a lie and say God. Just like coronavirus, then see if you stay inside. It's right. a it's a fear. They might drive now, you know, you know when you go outside. Right. I see the man come in the Bible and drive fear in your hands and say, God, I got this and God, I will bust your head. And God, I got that. Right. And not, not go so. That is true. That is the truth. Yeah. Can't tell life on God, so man. Well, you know my understanding of God. You know what me tell you my understanding of God? Mm -hmm. <coughs> my understanding of God is life. God is life. Yes. God is vice. God is breath. God is soul and yes. God is spirit. Yes. And if you're looking at the sun, the sun knows when to come out in the morning as daylight. Nobody knows to press a button to come out. No. The moon knows to come out when the time is right and we know when to blow. And if the right. God went in at the moon and the sun and everything, that is life. Cause these things to function in accordance every day at the same time. Right? Yes. Now, my conclusion is that life not gonna punish you whether you serve it or not. Life not gonna put you in hell. Life not gonna do you nothing. But what you to do, what you should do now, play a game with yourself. Move the word God from your mind and can't put life there. And you see what happened. Move the word God. G O D. Mm -hmm. Goal Isle L I put L I S U Yes Goal Island Diamond Goal Island Jugs G O D God Oh That is what I'm worshiping and I give it to you Goal Jugs Oil G O D Goal Island Jugs G O D Right mm -hmm. So now Life Will never punish you. Life will never persecute you. If you abuse life, life separate from you. Mm. But I'm changing from life and say God and make God into a person. Life is not yeah. a person. Life is a it. That is why I come here every time and I tell people life can't die. But a house that life live in can me and you. Our body is a house. You're right. That life live in. Yes. And the house that life live in can perish. If life separates from the house, the house will perish. Right, right. But life itself cannot die. No. And that is the whole thing. Life can't punish you. Life will never punish you. Whether or not you serve him, yes, I know. Mm -hmm. If you mess with because life. When you, when, you die, when you die, the spirit still live on. The life, the vice, the bread, the soul, the spirit live on. Right. Can't mm -hmm. dead. It can't dead. It always on and on and on and on. Right. But the house that life live in, if them burn down this place that I'm in now, and I run out fast, then I throw a big bomb in here, and I run out fast, I don't get burned down, but the thing inside here destroy. Right, right. So when I shoot the body, the body destroy and dead, but the life run out of it, because they can't see, they can't touch it. Right, that's correct. You understand me? Because nobody can see your vice. No, sir. Nobody can nobody see your can breath. Now you're swollen, now you're, they can't touch it, but it's there. Yeah. And that is the God that is inside of you. I asked a young lady the other day, I said, out of God and life, where different? He said, God make life. I said to the person, second question, were God alive when he make life? Did God stay out of life and make life? The person said, this is too deep. I said, no, no, deep. You need to understand what I say. God is life and God give you some of what he is. And God manifests in the tree, in the animal, in the bird, in the water, in the sun, in the sky, in the river, right. in everything. Right. In everything, it's true. So now, when you understand that life is what you should preserve, and not God as if one man went the room make and put somewhere and say you've served a God there and him name Jesus. And when you pray to Jesus, till your mouth can't appear you, you don't get no answer for no prayer, you get disappointed. When you should never do that. So just remove the Jesus idea and the God idea from your consciousness and start to see life. 
and you're more better off. A girl tell me that she know one bad problem. I just spent one whole week praying. Sometimes she's in the bathroom, she's a prayer. She said, and she said, nothing, thing, no happen. Not a thing happened. And I said, baby girl, you know, she said something gone bad. Why you had to waste time to do that for darling girl? Speak it into existence. Because you have life. Let it happen. Yeah. But a lot of people can't tell them this. You can't tell them this. They can't see a God as a man. Just picture God. As a man, for a minute. See don't want to show Physical man, you know. I bet you get tired. I bet you dead. Because no physical being can stay forever alive. You understand? Yeah. Oh, you know, you're gone soft now. No, man. Me are, me are, when you're talking to me, I think. No, physical. Where, where the question may come up again, and I say, mm. uh, for me come up, they must say, God, God is a white man. They're not that type. You never see him yet. Yeah? All they know him is a white man. No, but God don't have no color. But if you want if you want to make God into a man, you have to make him a man will look like you. He not no color, he's not a man, he's not a man. Not him. It is not a person, whether a man or a woman. But you can make him into a man after all, because you're a woman. And me can make him into a man because I'm a man. Because God is in me and God is in you. So you can see God from a female point of view because you're a female. And I can see God from a male point of view because I'm a male. But minus the male and the female, life is just life. Yeah. And life is what we have. And life is what we know as God. But Christian change it and give you a father, son, and a holy ghost. This comes from Rome. This is from Rome. Anytime you get the consciousness reconstruct and realize that your God is the vice that you breathe, the vice in your body. You know, if a man dead right now, you boss him chest and do autopsy upon him, you can't take up your hand and say, This was his vice. No, <coughs> you can't can do that with the heart, not true. Yeah, you can't touch the heart. Yeah. You can't do that with the kidney, not true. You can't touch him kidney and everything. I can't kidney. do that with the brain. But you can't take up him, him life and say, this was his life. He stopped working now, he now function again. This was his breath. This was his soul. This was his vice. This was his spirit. You can't find them there, but does man have one? Yes. So where is it located? You can't see it. Mm -mm. As far as me concerned, I'm most like as far as me concerned, I'm most like powerful people them. When one die, we call it the maths process, you minus from the physical and you continue in the spiritual realm. Whether you're a Christian, you're a Buddhist, you're a atheist, you're a Gnostic or not, you all go in the spiritual realm when life did separate from the physical body. Mm -hmm. But man create a book. To control you and they write some nice words in it. And it, yeah. was, it was given by God. Moses yeah. was walking through somewhere and he see a fire burning and he get curious and say, Wait, how this fire burn? I'm not seeing no smoke. I want vice to Moses, which is really close. Take, Take off his shoes. shoes. The ground is standing and is a is a holy ground. Holy ground. And Moses, who are you? And he said, I am that I am the Alpha and Abiga, the God of Jacob, Joseph, and a whole long name. Now, from that day forth, Moses, whenever time want to communicate with him, God, quote unquote, he go far when nobody can see him. And him say, come back and say, God, tell him to do this. Some of the people then follow some rebel. And but, but, you know, cut you, um, even in a detergent, say, when you want to talk to God privately, you're locking door, keep away from all of your phone, the man thing, especially when you're on fasting or you're going to your local closet. Mm. And that means if you take out your clothes, they're going your closet, but going to your room and stay and by yourself. When you want to talk to God privately, private. when you want to talk to God privately, go down in yourself and you meditate in yourself and go in yourself because you, God is inside of you. It's called life. Mm -hmm. God is inside of you called vice, called bread. You go in yourself and go deep. That's why I always say to people, know yourself, do the whole meditation. And you will know yourself. Because once you do the whole meditation, 
you will know who you are, what you represent, and all of them things there. But a lot of us afraid of it. You have a thing what they call outer body experience. We you come out of your physical body for some time, and then you come back in. Yeah. Just like when you asleep. These, yeah, yeah, these are like serious work, serious mission. If you don't understand it, let somebody help you who understand it. But these are something helpfully effective. That's why people should meditate. If I ask you your name right now, tell me your name, don't tell me your real name. What is your name? Say. Just call a name, any name. Say, say Carol. Carol, all right. Your name is Carol, right? Who is Carol? Tell me a little about Carol. Mm. <laughs> Same thing, you don't even know who you are. You don't even know who you are. I ask you to tell me, little boy, you are. You don't even know yourself because you don't know yourself. It's true. You go off of what them tell you, say you're female. How you know you're female? Somebody tell you that. Because I uh, may have the body parts of a female. That is what you learn. How you know that body parts is, is female? And how you know a different male from female? A man, give that name. Well, the man, the man have a different body from the male. No, man give body parts name. Man give body name. How you know the black is black? How you know the white is white? How you know the short is short? Is man create all of these names? Yeah, because the man of them call white man in a white color. All right. White, so now, when you do, when you do the who body, who meditation now, you start to know who you are, and you start to understand you. And then when you understand you, you will also understand me. Because you can't understand me without you understand you. And we talk about the sub, the supra, and the supra consciousness, the four different levels of the consciousness. And most people don't know themselves, but they try to know you, and that is confusion that can lead to whole heap of damage to the mind. You say your name Carol now, and Carol is a female. That's all you can tell me. Because you don't even know who you is. The person that lives in you, you don't know. But what you do, you use that thing called a small identity, which is your name Carol. Yeah. But you don't know who you are, because you never take time out to know yourself. If somebody tells you you're beautiful, don't you accept it? Yes. And if somebody tells you ugly, you get upset, not you? Right. But somebody tells you ugly now if you get upset because you know you're not ugly. So why get it upset? Because you make that person's opinion become your reality. I have to. You, you get me? You know you're not ugly and you say you're ugly. You're not and you get vexed. Like yeah, but you're vexed for it because a person's opinion become your reality. So whatever that person tells you, you digest it and make it into a truth. And this is what happens when you don't know yourself, when you don't understand yourself. Whatever one perception of you is, and hey, you mean, you know, you accept your mean for you. And hey, you're stupid, you accept your stupid for you. And hey, you're fat, you accept your fat for you. You're foolish, you understand me? Yeah. A lot of people go to the doctor, the doctor say you're too fat, you know, if you cut weight. Because doctor tell you fat, you believe it, but you're not fat in reality. This is the thing. We have to know ourselves, we have to go back to basic, and we need to do the whole meditation. If you don't understand it, people, I will help you know as best as I can. They have another thing called outer body experience. Because the truth is, we have one brain. And most of us don't use no brain at all. We use one, like a third, one third of our brain. Because scientists say we mostly use 25% of our brain. Right. And the rest of our brain just sit on the diamond. Damn man, we can't do so much thing with the brain, but guess what? We're too scared of the thing that is going to benefit us. The thing going to make we who we ought to be. We're scared of it. Most of us are afraid to challenge ourselves. Most of us are afraid to push ourselves to the limit. Because we're afraid of the unknown. And everything we do, we have to get one God if we can help we. And we have to get one Jesus if we can help we. And we have to look outside at all time for some assistance. When all the answers where you ask, and all the questions you ask, lie right within you. You know, get it? Yeah, man, Because if you know you, you will understand you. And if you understand you, you will understand me. Because me and you are one and the same. We the same one thing called life. Forget about the physical part now. The life in you and the life in me are one and the same. So once you understand you and your life, you will understand me and mine. Because it's one and the same from the same place you come from. Although it might come from a different mother. 
But we have one and the same thing within us. And because we don't know ourselves, that's why we kill, rape, and murder and do all them things to one another. This is certainly right. Because we don't know ourselves and we don't know that the same thing is amazing as you. And when I try to hurt you, I hurt myself. You understand me? Yeah. And that's why Marcus bowed out and said, Black people now know themselves until the back is against the wall. The wall, yeah. And that a real, 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 real talk. Marcus could never put it better. Black people now gonna know themselves until they're back against the wall. And the truth is, you say you're black. Or you say you're a female. How oh, you know you're a female? Somebody told you you're a female. What if to a man you find out you do the whole meditation and you realize that you're neither male nor female? What if tomorrow you find you and you start, hey, you know what? I yet a clock in our time for running the rasta. Blessed, loving people. I can talk yeah. till next year. Yeah, yeah, um, you're continuing this. We have to continue that one year again because this is one are deep. I want the people to know what I want. But people, really people want to share this, want to like, and want to send it around. And go over, you know, go over YouTube and subscribe. Go over there and subscribe, people, because this is a deep, deep conversation where enough people now go tell you. Know, because they don't want to know who you are. Because once you know who you are, nobody can push you around again. So they prefer to tell you something where you are not. For you to, for distracting you from who you are and what you're supposed to be representing. So you end up in hard kind of thing going on in your life. Hardship, poverty, bad luck, sorrow, pain and so. And you take on something where you know if you take on. Because you don't know you. So loving people, when play some jingle. I run off because we over we over the time a whole lot. And blessed love, we have to come back again and do it. Thank you very much, Carla. Yes, okay. Bless up here. Yeah, yes, bless up. All right. Right, people, right. You know, we have a beautiful conversation with Carol. We have a beautiful conversation with Carol right there. And Carol, Carol spark up the thing, but Carol, I try to tell me, say, Carol is a this and Carol is a that because Carol itself don't know Carol. And when you don't know, you just don't know. And the thing that you should do, go and know. Because knowledge is power and truth is divine. Loving people, I want you to go over there, St. Arbin TV. Give me some like and give me some share. Give me some subscribe and send this all over the place because I want it to go places. Seriously. So, as we say, people. This has been a wonderful show. I love you so much. Thank you very much for your ears. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for the cooperation. And the number is on the screen. If anything, you can drop me a WhatsApp. I read every comment. I read every WhatsApp. No matter how long it takes. No matter what you say. I got you guys. Spend time with my people to hear them. To know them. And I need to know. So whoever feel like they want to talk to me. Drop me some comment. Drop me some WhatsApp. If you want to talk to me via phone. Every information is right there. And go over YouTube, look up St. Arbin TV. Give me some subscribe over there now. Subscribe it stuff no man. We have some product over there. Some content over there. We're on Instagram also. Give me some love no. Yeah, see the information right there on the screen. Give me some love, man. I I I am asking you, give me some love. St. Arbin TV is everywhere. So you know, like the sun. So with that said, loving people. We have to finish this kind of conversation as we go along. We ask why Christian and other people who is not Christian die at the said rate. God should have protecting people them if so be the case. Why they are, everybody whether they are Christian or not, it is a dead at the same rate. So something not right somewhere and we establish that. Life now go really do nothing to you. Life no business with you in the sense of to punish you, to persecute you, to embarrass you, to do nothing. And you, if you don't want life, you can make what you want to do with life. But life still is dear because life not depending on you. Walk good with people. Bless up on yourself. More peace, more power. Love.